in the shadow of Iceland's mountains, fans will begin to whir next month at Mammoth, the world's most advanced project to suck carbon out of the air and bury it deep underground. Well, it, it, it's kind of boring, isn't it? Um, because effectively what, ha what happens is some fan starts to, uh, to pull in air inside these big boxes. That it sounds so simple. But even promises for the technology are drawing hundreds of millions of dollars in investments around the world. Canadian companies like Quebec-based Deep Sky want to get on board. For now, its projects are just renderings. There's no reason that we can't make carbon removal look like that. Deep Sky has secured 75 million in financing and plans to use Quebec's hydroelectricity to power their plants. Canada has all the elements. What Saudi Arabia is to the oil and gas industry, Canada could be to carbon removal. Invest in emerging clean technologies. Ottawa has announced billions in tax credits for direct air capture, but critics worry this climate solution misses the point, the need to drastically reduce emissions in the first place and use this technology for unavoidable emissions. But right now there isn't a clear consensus on what that means. And without that, you can imagine you're wasting all of your carbon removal capacity on something like private jets. People who study the technology say it can be part of the solution, but it will take time. As we move forward with decarbonization and decarbonizing Canada's industry, we're going to need this technology in a variety of places. Technology only happens when you build something. You only learn from building. You only scale from building. For now, that reality is a long way off. Even for Climeworks' new facility, what the world emits in an entire year, Mammoth will only capture about half a minute's worth. Ben Schindler, CBC News, Montreal.